Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with ericstrange.com, and today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done a lot of in the past, which is to review some rolling stock. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing three really nice O-scale freight cars from Atlas. The first car will be this beautiful Cumberland Chemical 3-bay cylindrical hopper from Atlas's master product line. The second car, also from Atlas's master product line, will be this Casco 17,600-gallon corn syrup tank car. And then finally, I'll be showing you this American Refrigerator Transit Company 40-foot plug door boxcar from Atlas's Train Man product line. So here's our Cumberland Chemical 3-bay cylindrical hopper, and since it's part of Atlas's master product line, that means it's a scale model that's packed full of intricate and prototypical detailing. And that's what the master line is all about. It's geared towards modelers who want high-end, prototypical realism on their layouts. On the end of the car here, we've got nice brake wheel detail, as well as lots of nice mechanical detailing back here. Separately applied grab irons down here. And then of course, we've got these really beautifully detailed steps here. Down here on the bottom, we've got nice die cast sprung trucks. And these trucks are actually painted a dark blue to match the underside of the car up here. And then of course, we've got these nice rotating bearing caps. So when the car moves, the bearing caps rotate like that. Here's the underside of the car, and you can see we've got nice hatch detail down there. And all of that printed data, all of the warning placards and car information that's printed down there, that's all legible. You may need a magnifying glass to see it all, but it's all legible. Up on top of the car, we have a nicely done walkway, separately applied grab irons, and all of these roof hatches open up. Like that. In my opinion, these are some of the best three-base cylindrical hoppers on the O-scale market. I own about eight of these, and no doubt I'll own many more in the future because they're just great freight cars to have on your layout. Now, these come in a variety of different road names, and they also come in both three-rail and two-rail versions. So if you're interested in getting one of these, contact Atlas today. Now let's turn our attention to the Casco corn syrup tank car. So here's our Casco 17,600 gallon corn syrup tank car, and just like the hopper I showed you, this is also part of Atlas's master product line, so that means it is very prototypical and exquisitely detailed. In my opinion, Atlas makes the best tank cars on the O-scale market, and that's not to say that Lionel or Weaver or MTH make bad tank cars. They don't. They're very nice tank cars, and I have a lot of them on my layout. But Atlas tank cars, to me, have always been just a cut above the rest because Atlas is so attentive to every little detail that goes into these cars. And the end result is a tank car that just looks so realistic and so beautiful. The paint job on these cars is always perfect. The lettering and the logos and so forth are always crisp, clear, and legible. But my favorite thing about the paint on these cars is that Atlas uses a really nice satin finish that gives it a really flat look. You know, with a lot of O-scale trains, when you take them out of the box brand new, they have this really bad plasticky shine to them. And what I usually do to get rid of that shine is do a little airbrush weathering. But with these Atlas cars, you don't necessarily have to do that because they use that nice flat satin finish. So right out of the box, these cars look very realistic. Both ends of the car have the same nice attention to detail that the cylindrical hopper did. Up on top, you've got really finely detailed handrails and walkways, and the hatch detail is really well done too. The ladders are very finely detailed, as are these nice little stanchions that come off the side of the car. But my favorite part about these tank cars is actually the underside. Look at all that action under there. There's just all sorts of busy stuff going on underneath these cars, and it just makes them look so realistic when they're coming down your main line. As I said, I'm a big fan of these Atlas tank cars. I have 34 Atlas tank cars on my layout right now. And one of my favorite things is to hook all 34 of them together and run a big unit train down the main line. They just look so cool. Now these come in a variety of road names and they also come in an undecorated version. And they also come in both three rail and two rail versions. So if you're into high end prototypical O scale railroading and you haven't checked out these Atlas tank cars yet, do yourself a favor, contact Atlas today and check them out. I promise you're going to love them. So now let's take a look at our last car for the day, which is a train man 40 foot plug door box car. So here's our American Refrigerator Transit Company 40 foot plug door box car. And like I said, this car is part of Atlas's train man product line. Atlas's train man line is sort of a middle of the road product line. You know, on one end of the spectrum, you've got the master line which gives you the highly detailed, very prototypical O-scale models. 
And then on the other end of the spectrum, you've got Atlas's Industrial Rail Line, which gives you the 027 toy-like trains that are sort of like the trains your dad or granddad might have had from Lionel in the 1950s. And then in the middle, we've got the Train Man Line, which gives you models that are built to scale with very realistic detailing, but at a price that's very friendly to the budget-conscious modeler. Now these are very nice models, and I have a lot of them running on my layout. The only difference between the Train Man products and the Master Line products is that the Master Line products tend to have more separately applied detailing on them, whereas the Train Man products will have most of the details molded into the body of the car. And by doing that, they reduce the manufacturing cost, because if you think about it, if you have a lot of separately applied detailing on a car, you have to pay some guy at the factory over in China to put all that detailing on the car. And so by having a lot of the detailing molded into the car, you don't have to pay that guy, which results in a lower manufacturing cost, which results in a lower price tag at the train store. So where you might pay $70 or $80 for a Masterline car, you'll probably pay around $40 or $50 for a Train Man car, but you still get the great Atlas paint job, the nice attention to detail, die-cast sprung trucks, and you get some separately applied detailing like the ladders and the brake wheels and so forth. So what you get is a very beautiful car for not a lot of money. So if you're a budget conscious modeler who wants scale realism on your layout, consider the Train Man line. Now these cars come in a variety of road names and they come in both three rail and two rail versions. So if you want one, contact Atlas today. So that about wraps it up for this review. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three of these fine O-scale freight cars from Atlas. If you're interested in purchasing any of these cars, you can do so by contacting Atlas directly. You can get to them on the web at www.atlaso.com. They've got a nice online store that you can shop at. Or you can contact them by phone at 908-687-9590. And if you dial extension 7118, you'll be connected to Jerry Kimball, one of the great sales reps over at Atlas, and he can set you up with any of these cars. Anyway, I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.